Welcome. Today, we'll unravel the foundations of computer science, starting with the intriguing world of relations. Let's dive in. Kickstarting with relations, they're fundamental bridges, linking elements within distinct sets in computer science. Vital for efficient data management, they offer a simplified way to structure databases. Consider an example where a relation R establishes a link between sets S representing students and C symbolizing their corresponding courses. Alice likes numbers and joins math, Bob prefers interpreting events leading him to history, while Charlie finds himself fascinated by formulas, pulling him towards math like Alice. Such plain associations underline the ties between diverse sets of data within databases, offering a sneak peek into the tangible applications of relations. Mastery over relations hence not just declutters data, but also enhances its overall management within databases. A cornerstone to organize and manage a massive influx of data effectively, thereby propelling the wheel of progress in database management systems. Let's explore how a relation in set theory connects elements. It acts as a bridge, linking from one set to another. For example, consider two specific sets, A and B. A contains the numbers 1, 2, and 3, while B houses the elements A, B, and C. The relation R maps each number in A to the corresponding element in B as ordered pairs, resulting to R comprising of 1A, 2B, 3C. Shifting our gaze to a real-world context, imagine we have sets of students and their courses. The students are Alice, Bob, and Carol, while the courses are mathematics, history, and biology. We can directly relate students to their chosen courses, creating a relation that mirrors a Cartesian product. For instance, Alice picks mathematics, Bob opts for history, and Carol chooses biology, giving us the relation R. The key to understanding relations involves mastering Cartesian products. Intriguingly, these constructs are a method of combining different sets of elements. For instance, given two sets A and B with elements 1, 2, and 3, 4 respectively, we form the Cartesian product, an ordered collection of pairs 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4. This set of pairs can visually represent points on a plane, bridging structures in set theory to more familiar geometrical spaces. The brilliance of Cartesian products is in their potential to form connections between individual elements across different sets. It forms the backbone for creating relations. We see this when set A equals 1, 2, and set B equals x, y. The possible connections appear as 1, x, 1, y, 2, x, and 2, y. This represents the fundamental structure of basic relations centered around Cartesian products. Upon examining the Cartesian products that lay the groundwork for relations, we now delve into the real-world applications of relations. Picture a scenario of a customer making purchases at an online store. Here, the resources are depicted as sets, where one set represents customers and another portraits purchases. A relational database connects these sets, making it easier for the company to manage its resources. Turning our gaze to social media, you'd witness another practical usage of relations. User connections, the essence of any social media platform, are implemented through data structures enabling friendship links. These relations, at their core, simplify data management and enhance efficiency, thus demonstrating the significance of the concept of relations. Relations role is particularly impactful in software and database design, where it improves data retrieval and scalability essential aspects for creating more efficient digital structures. Let's delve into key properties of relations, reflexive, symmetric, and anti-symmetric relations. A reflexive relation occurs on a set where every element is paired with itself. It's akin to you being able to view your own profile on a social network. Now think of a symmetric relation, where if a relation exists from one element to another, it reciprocates. Friendships in real life often exemplify this. If A is friends with B, B is friends with A. Onto a slightly different concept, anti-symmetric relations. Here, if a relation reciprocates, it's only because the elements are identical. Think of hierarchies in the professional world where the relationship between subordinates and their supervisors isn't reciprocal like friendships. Understanding these elements will enhance our comprehension of complex relational concepts. The key to efficient algorithms often lies in properties of relations. 
One such intrinsic property is the transitive property. This property states that if A is related to B and B is related to C, then A is definitely related to C. Consider numerical relations. If 3 is less than 5 and 5 is less than 8, we can deduce that 3 is less than 8. In computing, we often use this property. For example, in network graphs or database schemas, the transitive property boosts algorithm efficiency at a scale of O log of n, suggesting an optimal time complexity. A Python example shows this concept in practice. The function check underscore transitivity checks if a provided relation set abides by the rule that for all A, B, and C in the set, if A is related to B and B is related to C, then A is related to C. This is a powerful test for transitivity. The function maps the relations using a default dict, sifts through each relation for transitivity, and returns a value of 1 over 2 if transitivity prevails throughout and 0 otherwise. Continuing to the visualization of relations, we see their representation in directed graphs where nodes are connected by arrows, presenting the directional flow. Picture a city network where one-way streets form directed edges between cities, offering a clear understanding of navigational routes. This graphical representation lights up new perspectives on relationship mapping. Now, to further decode these graphs, we turn towards an incredibly handy tool, adjacency matrices. A matrix that depicts graphs connections, crafting a clear path to analyze relationships. Graph theory's connection analysis and database profiling are crucial areas where it plays a pivotal role. Thus, by adopting directed graphs and adjacency matrices, their tandem provides a comprehensive and insightful view into the intriguing world of relations. Relation composition is a potent method that enables us to mold individual relations into a new, integrated one. Think of it this way. By combining relations S and R, we engender a new relation, symbolized as S circle R, thus crafting an interconnected pathway from set A to set C through B. To bridge this to a tangible example, consider the relations R and S given as R equals 1, 2, and S equals 2, 3. Notice that the composition of S circle R results in a new relation, 1, 3. This vividly brings out the essence of relation composition. Focusing on the Python code, take note of the dictionaries, users, and transactions. On implementing relation composition, we obtain a new dictionary, user underscore purchases, which efficiently maps the user to their respective purchases. It's a practical exhibition of how relation composition streamlines data integration, bolstering business strategies with efficient resource management. Closure properties consist of traits that deal with a minimal superset of a relation, R that strictly adheres to reflexive, symmetric, and transitive traits. Let's explore an example. Consider pairs such as AB and BA. To ensure symmetry within the closure, these pairs are included within it. This reflects the basis of symmetry in closure properties. If a relation runs from A to B, there's a mirrored relation from B back to A. As we delve further into closure properties, we encounter a specific type called transitive closure. This property extends the reachability of elements within a relation R. In practice, this can be modeled in Python using code like shown here. A Python function computes the transitive closure of a matrix, modifying it to ensure a path exists between I and J, if a path from I to K and K to J exists. This principle proves vital for enhancing the efficiency of network paths. Recapping relations. These are essentially the bonds formed within a Cartesian product of two sets, represented by pairs, A, B. Relations boast three core properties, reflexivity, symmetry, and transitivity. In database contexts, they're pivotal, enabling efficient mapping between customers and their corresponding orders. Let's take our example here. Alice, a customer, places an order for a book, followed by Bob, who orders a laptop. Thus, a relation evolves, displaying a clear association between our customers and their respective orders. These examples are practical demonstrations of relations and their real-world impact, a significant stepping stone in thriving within computer science.